What's going on guys? So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to tax switch mod any controller. For demonstration purposes I'm going to be doing this mod on a NES Classic Mini controller but these tax switches will work in virtually any controller. Okay so these are the basic tools you're going to need to complete this mod. First up, you're going to need some iPhone 5 or 5C HomeFlex cables. You're going to be using one per button in your controller. Okay, this next item is 100% optional, but it does help protect the carbon contact pads on the controller. You can either use Kapton tape or Scotch Magic tape. Avoid using electrical tape as the adhesive tends to break down over time. The next item you're going to need is a soldering iron with a fine tip. You're also going to need some solder. After that, you're going to need some 30 gauge wrapping wire. And lastly, you're going to need some kind of toolkit to open up your controller. I'm going to be using the iFixit Pro Toolkit. They did send it out to me for free. Uh, not related to this tutorial, I'm just going to be using it in the video. Okay, first up, remove all the screws holding your controller together and remove the PCB. This next step is completely optional, but I still recommend doing it. Take your Kapton tape or your Scotch Magic tape and cover up the carbon contact pads on the PCB you're going to be replacing with tack switches. Once you've done that, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. On my controller, I'm going to be replacing the A, B buttons and the four directional buttons. Okay, now take your iPhone 5 or 5C home flex cables and cut off the long, thin piece of the flex. We don't need this bit. Your home flex cables should come with their own self adhesive backing. Just peel off the thin blue plastic film to expose it. Okay, now take your newly trimmed up home flex cables and put them over the pads on the PCB. You want to line up the center of the home key with the center of the contact pads on the board. And when you're done you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Most controller PCBs will have little breakout test points for each of the button inputs. Failing that you can also just trace back the traces back to a pin on a connector or on another component. As you can hopefully see here, the reason I chose the iPhone 5 home key flexes is because they're extremely thin and extremely accurate switches. As you can kind of see, they don't really add much height to the PCB, meaning that you can keep the original rubber domes inside the controller but still have that strong tactile feel. As you can see, the switch has four contact points and they are common together in groups of two. As you can see, they run parallel to each other. Okay, to wire up each of the tack switches, all we need to do is put one wire from one side of the switch to the correct test point on the board, and the other side of the switch gets connected to the common rail. In this case, it is ground. As you can see, I have the right D-pad button wired up correctly. I have one wire going to the test pad and the other wire going to the common ground of the controller. Also, as you can see, they are extremely thin even with the wires on there, so you shouldn't have any issues with clearance. Once you are done, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. It will be a bit different depending on what controller you use, but the end goal is the same. You don't want anything sitting up too high or anything, or having any big overhangs or too much solder or anything like that. It's pretty easy, not too difficult to do this. Now all you have to do is just put the controller back together. Don't forget to put the rubber domes back in. They will help with dampening so it won't feel too harsh on your hands. Having the rubber domes inside the controller does not negatively affect the mod, it just makes it a little bit nicer to use. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, give the video a like. And if you want to see more content, consider subscribing. Until next time, see ya!